What is going on guys, Gabriel with Review Dark, and today we are going to talk about how to use the YouTube Video Editor. This will be a quick tutorial on how to use the YouTube's Video Editor. Now, I can't promise that you will be a Michael Bay or a James Cameron, but you will be damn near close. So, how do we get to the Video Editor? Well, first, what you want to do is click on your profile and then Creator Studio. From there, we are then greeted by this menu. We will go down to create and then video editor. Now, once we're here at the video editor, we are greeted with a blank screen and all of our videos. Now, it doesn't matter if the video is published, public, unlisted, private, you will find them all here. So my recommendation is, is that if you have a video that has not been edited, that you upload to YouTube as a private video first so that you can then come to the YouTube video editor and make your edits. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the video of my son and I'm going to drag it on the timeline. And it's a 20 second video. And um, well, I think that's a little too long. So what I can do is trim it by using the slider and I will trim it down to 10 seconds. Now, once that's done, maybe I want to break this down into two clips. So at the five second mark, I will then split the clip with the scissors and now we have two unique clips. Now, when you select the video, you are then greeted with this menu. You can auto fix, which YouTube will auto fix your video, or you can select brightness and contrast and basically play with all the different options here. Slow motion is pretty cool if you have an action sequence and you really want to add some drama to that sequence and slow it down a little bit. You have pan, zoom, and stabilize. Another cool feature is preview effects side by side with original video. So for instance, if I go ahead and set my brightness a little bit too high, I can see that in real time, which is a nifty little feature. So next up we have the Creative Commons. Now what this is, is uh, basically video clips that you can use that are copyright free. And this is really, really important guys because you don't wanna upload other people's content. And so this is a great way to get B-roll or just to create a uh, transition or engagement with your YouTube video. And so what I wanna do is uh, I'm gonna type in New York City see what uh, creative common videos are available for me to use and i could see here i have the sunset time lapse so i will simply take that and drag that to my timeline and you could see the new york city time lapse right there but this is a two minute long video so i will have to trim that down um there you go 13 seconds 13 seconds is still a little long so i'll go ahead and trim it there so now I'm introduced with two clips. I want to delete one. You simply hover your mouse over a clip and click X and there you go. You've deleted a segment or a clip and we have my son talking, then we have a New York City time lapse and then we go back to my son talking. Pretty cool, right? Now let's say if you wanna upload a photo. Well, you can do that here. You go over to this camera icon, hit add photos to project and what you're greeted with, uh, basically your photos on your Google profile. You have uh, your different albums. You can go ahead and upload your own photo or custom photo specific to your video. But I'm going to go ahead and use my photo. I'm going to hit select. And what I want to do is I want to drag this on over to the beginning of the video. Sort of kind of like an intro, right? We'll go ahead and hit OK. So now we have an intro, we have my son, we have a transitional scene, and then we have my son all over again. So let's say I want to go ahead and add audio. You can do that with the little note icon here, and you can scroll through different genres. I'll pick children's genre and inner smile, and I will drag that audio clip onto the timeline and then trim it down to the length of my video. Another thing you might want to do is assess the volume of that audio clip or that song and make sure it does not overpower your video or what's going on in your video. Next up, we have the bow tie, better known as transitions. Transitions are cool because it allows you to smoothly transition from one scene to another or move from one point in time to another. So what I want to do is take this transition, the crossfade, and place it between two clips. And that is a two second transition. And let's go ahead and see how that looks. 
And here we go. We have the transition happening right now. And there we go. We transition really, really smoothly. Uh, this video is starting to look fairly professional. Okay, so now we have the text and we can add text to our video. And I like to use the banner text and basically take that and you drag it over a specific clip. As you can see here, we can set the position. I will set it to center. Uh, basically the size of the font. I want to set that to large. I want to align the center and I want the text to be bolded. And I'm going to type subscribe. I hope you guys subscribe if you find this tutorial helpful. And there we go. You can enable the text or disable the text, but let's enable the text because I want you guys to subscribe. And we are all set with that. So now we have a full feature video with an introduction, video clip, a transition, a time lapse, and then an ending to the video. Also, here's a cool tip, guys. If you have a video intro, you should upload that to YouTube and keep that private always so that you can take the video intro and throw it in the beginning of your video. So I have a image here, but you can throw a video intro there. So if you have a common video intro, upload it to YouTube, keep it private or enlist it, and then just throw it into your YouTube editor. And so we're all done with this. Let's go ahead and hit create video. And once we do that, our video starts processing and it says check back later. Now, I want to make sure that I have this set to unlisted. By default, it will make your video public. You want to set that to unlisted and you also want to make your changes to your video title, your description and tag your videos accordingly. If you like this tutorial, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Also, let's get 100 likes on this video and I will start a YouTube video creation series where I show you guys how to use Adobe Premiere Pro. This is Gabe with Buffy Dork. Hope you guys learned something. I'm out. Peace.